In this video, we're gonna install this UI and I'm gonna guide you step by step so that you understand exactly what is happening. Let's get started. So this is a new project in Unity 2019 and this is an empty project, of course, and I wanna install this UI. So I need to open the asset store. So I'll go to window, asset store or control nine, if you wanna use the shortcut. Let's wait for it to load. Yeah. And let's type here in the top bar, Doozy. And you'll see the UI complete UI management system. Let's click on it. And now let's uh, import it. You're not actually imported, importing the Doozy UI. You're importing an installer. Why do you have an installer? Well, first of all, this UI requires that you have DoTwin installed and set up before you install it. Otherwise, see, it, it just started. Otherwise, you will get a lot of errors. And if you forget to install DoTwin, you would have to delete what you've imported and it would waste your time. And some of you might, might, might get mad about that. So right away, I can see we do not have DoTwin in this project and you have a download link. If you click it, it will open the asset store window and after three seconds, I think it's gonna search for do twin and here I can import it. So we try to make the process as smooth and easy as possible so that you do not have uh, to remember these install steps. One more thing, you after you install do twin, you should definitely perform its setup. So as you can see, new version of do twin imported, and uh, we need to go through the setup process. The installer detected that you have DoTwin, but it doesn't know the version and it doesn't know whether you've uh, performed its initial setup. So I'm gonna open DoTwin utility panel, I'm gonna click this, and as you can see, DoTwin step setup required. And I'm gonna click this button. And let's wait for Unity to finish the compilation process. And let's click apply, and that's it. Uh, one more thing you should be aware of. If you're importing uh, this UI in an existing project that already has DoTwin, make sure that you have at least version 1.2.235. Why? Because this is the version in which DoTwin added preview animations in uh, preview twins in the editor, and this UI uses that functionality. So if you have an older version, you will have a lot of errors in the console. So just update DoTwin to at least this version before continuing further. So be aware of that. This is very important so that you don't have a bad time installing it. <laughs> now, another thing, uh, the installer will check that you do not have version two of this UI because uh, version three is basically an entire new software inspired by version two. They're not compatible. So we really wanted to avoid issues from having two versions of this UI in the same project. And if you check all the boxes, you can basically install it. And here you can see the version. It's version three. This is the major version, zero, minor version. C stands for commercial distribution and zero, this is the revision number. One more thing that the installer will do in future versions here, instead of ready, if it has to perform several changes to your project so that you have a smooth update process, you will have one more button for that. So the installer actually does a lot of things to, to, to make the process as simple as possible. Okay, let's uh, install it. So install, all right. I sped up this process a bit because it takes a while. And now we have the option to import the actual package where this UI resides. I'm gonna show you the folders because you might not want for such a project to import projects to import the examples. So this UI, the main folder has an editor folder and this is the entire editor core. Th these files will never reach your build and they're meant only for the custom inspectors and databases, things that reside in your project alone. The engine, these are the components that you actually use, the mono behaviors that will get included in your project. And this is the examples folder. You can remove this if you do not want to install the examples. And this is actually what makes the package large because the entire code is not that big, but by adding the examples that have scenes, animations, images, sounds, and so on, 
of course, the, the package is larger. These are the integrations. And here I have Playmaker Actions and so on. And so this is integrations with other assets. And uh, in future versions, we'll be adding anything that supports uh, another asset. It will be found here. So it's separated from the so it's separated from the engine. And here you have some logos in case you need them for the UI. And some gizmos. Yeah. And that's it. And I'm going to click import. And what will happen? The installation, the, the import uh, of the package will start. And after the package has been imported, the installer will do the following things. Will, uh, it will uh, destroy itself and will get deleted. So you see here, I have a folder called Doozy Installer. After the install, it won't do anything. So we decided for it to delete itself so that it doesn't reside in your project and take up useless space. And uh, after that, after it uh, has deleted itself, it will start a database uh, generation because uh, we're not giving you any databases at the start and we're ge generating them so that if uh, you're updating the ZUI, you do not lose any of the settings that you already have. So it's a rather complex process because of all the databases, but uh, we made sure that everything is automated and you should have zero messages and warnings in the console. It should be everything clean and uh, straightforward. This process, depending on your machine, does take a while to, to finish, especially if you're importing the examples because it, they have to, to have the meta files created and so on. But after that, it should be a pretty straightforward process. I'm gonna speed up until the, the point when uh, the import finish and the database generation process starts and you're gonna see it in a while. Okay, so this is the final part. And after that, you will see that uh, the window will get automatically closed. The this installer folder will get deleted and you will see that uh, a database refresh will start here automatically. And what this does is it, it, it looks that you have, uh, whether you have the databases there or not, it searches for unregistered databases and uh, so on. And uh, yeah, it should finish any minute now. All right, so the window just closed. And now it is uh, creating the databases and looking for any missing animations, view names, categories, and so on. All right. You'll see this is a pretty fast process. All right, so the install is finished. I'm going to look in the console right now. No messages, anything. So it's clean and you will see that now you have a doozy folder and the installer is gone. And uh, you should watch the getting started video so you can see how to start using the system. Let's go control panel and here we have the general canvases, views and I also have the example uh, category. If you do not see it here, just click search for categories and it should uh, appear, buttons, drawers pop-ups, soundy, and here I have sounds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it for the installer of the ZY. It, it should be a clean process and uh, you should be ready to go right out of the box. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.